It's always pretty hard when you have to say goodbye I'll keep pushing on and I'll quit the day I die Coming up the ranks and it's all too quick The time's running out and the clock's about to tick Got the blonde haired girls and they're looking like the pick You call me Benji Marshall cause I just want to quickly talk pick. about The steepness, the sheer steepness Of the of the mountains here Look, like so you go down It gets to like that tree just there And then like straight down like 50 metres or so I don't know, but there could be some really stupid kids one day and just fall down there. But, oh well, whatever happens, happens, I guess. So we're at like the first sort of lookout where I am. Mum and Dad are way behind and my brother's way in front. So uh, this is called Cliff Top Track, Deep Green Governed Gorge. Uh, just some information about that. I'm not going to read that because I'm a horrible reader, but look at the view though. I mean, there's all these bloody trees in the way, but still though, it's hectic as... So now at the moment we've kind of got just this lower angle lookout at the moment and just like look at those cliffs over there. They drop down a long, long way. I'd say over 100 metres, but yeah, it's very, very, very cool. Very enjoyable this walk actually. Heads looking up while the sun sets low Got the boys pulling up and we're putting on a show I talk a big game so you better choose your side You better pack your bags cause we're in for the ride Smile on your face cause I'm bringing all the fun I'm proud of what I've done but there's always more to come We're all growing up, I remember when we're young I'm putting in the work and I'm getting jobs done The plan's underway and it's looking like a go The dog's always there so I'm giving them a show The problem with our youth we worry about the dough, but I put that shit aside and I just worry about my bros Forever. putting work in. This is what we came for, guys. How beautiful it is. Look at how beautiful the place we live is, honestly. It's so lucky. Just, it's so incredible. Bye. I'll keep pushing on and I'll quit the day I die. I'll keep pushing on and I'll quit the day I die. Nah bruh, I'm never done, we're going all the way. I just want to put it into context, the stairs that we actually woke, walked up, there's like, it's a lot steeper than it actually looks. So it's actually like that, and there was like eight or nine of those that we had to walk up. Like at least 20 stairs each, fuck, me and mum were buggered. So I'm finally home, as you can tell, and I'm exhausted, but uni has me by the balls, is a frank way to say it by the balls so got to do that and i'm that tired but got to do what you got to do i guess all right so now i've finished the university work i'm just currently doing the editing for the video and i'm extremely tired i didn't get much sleep at all last night and my body's under a bit of fatigue to be generous but we move we gotta do what we gotta do i guess so Let's get it. And also, I figured out I've got to point the camera this way so that it can actually get the whole uh, screen into place. So, yeah, so I'll make sure not to make that mistake from now on. What I'm going to do now is so tonight we have a big game Manly vs. Rabbitohs, and tomorrow night's Penrith. Oh, sorry, tomorrow afternoon's Penrith vs. Storm. When tomorrow night's the AFL Grand Final. So, I'm going to predict all three of those games for you right now. So, firstly, I have selected. For the Rabbitohs versus Manly. I've said Manly going to win against the Rabbitohs 28-10 to 10, with my men of the match being DCE. Now, I think this game is going to be a really close game for the first 60 minutes or so. And then Manly, especially with Trubojevic and that, are going to run away with it like they did against North Queensland a few weeks ago. So, yeah, I've got Manly to win 28-10. Man of the match, Daily Cherry Evans with a blinder. Second game of the weekend. This is a very emotional one for me considering I'm a para fan. Um... I've said Melbourne to beat Penrith 30 nil, and I hope that happens too. Bugger Penrith now. Screw them. They're cheats. <laughs> but anyway, and I have uh, Mad Dog Munster as my man of the match, my favourite player in the comp. I think he's going to have an absolute ripper tomorrow. I'm going to say three try assists and a try for himself. I hope Melbourne just put the sweepers through Penrith, to be honest. I really don't care about Penrith anymore. And for the AFL Grand Final, I have said I really want Melbourne to win. 
I really want the Demons to win, so I hope my prediction's wrong. But I think the Bulldogs are going to go away with it and win 108 to 77. Man of the match is none other than Bailey Smith. He's uh, just sort of hop on the bandwagon. Why not? I think he'll have a big game tomorrow night. I'm saying a goal and a couple and a couple of handballs as well, disposals, whatever. Bailey Smith, man of the match slash Norm Smith, Norm Smith medalist. So yeah, very interested to see what happens over the next two days because it's going to be. A very fun two days. So it's come to the end of my vlog again today. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's watched this already. And be very appreciated if you hit the big red button down below. And also give a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.